So here I am tonight. I'm going through more of Dustin's uh, file and uh, emails and stuff that have been sent. And I managed to come across this letter that I've only screenshot or took a picture of one page of it. And I'm pretty sure if memory serves me correct, it was Colleen Medius or however her last name is pronounced that wrote this letter. And because I'm pretty sure that was the claim worker at the time or case worker, whatever they called them. Anyway, number one mistake was it says on January um, 24, 2023, there was a reoccurrence of his January 10, 2018 injury. Now that's false. It was already proven false by August 24, 2023. Because of the internal review that was sent out on August the 1st of 2023. So, how is it that this worker still manages to claim something occurred when the internal review stated that it didn't? She didn't read the file, did she? No. Then it says the most recent medical information on your file from your healthcare provider dated August, whatever, because I can't see it, 2023, indicates that you have no functional limitations and are therefore able to return to full duties of your job since your work and functional abilities are no longer impacted by your work injury. Your claim is closed effective immediately. Well, see, here's the problem with all of this, okay? It wasn't a reoccurrence that started all this to begin with. It was a reduction in hours that started it all. And you can't close an injury when the loss of, or you can't close a claim for compensation when the loss of earnings is based on modified work duties of hours per week. He had full function abilities the whole time, even on the date the decision was made to reduce his hours, he had full function abilities. So, how is it that she claims that they can close that claim that she received because of modified work duties from September 27th, but she only received it after the form six was put in on January 24th because he was forced to sign it. And then Charmaine Janes lied about having um, a recurrence list of symptoms. And that was proven through the August the 1st internal review of 2023. And then he had an actual reoccurrence that stopped him from working his modified work due, like working hours. And they closed his claim based on the fact that he was able to go back to work at full functional abilities after his May the 10th reoccurrence. But yet she says it's from the reoccurrence of January 24th, 2023. Mm-hmm. Because they're all so competent, right? <sighs> and yet they're getting paid and he's not. It's really nice to also mention that she has whole bunch of medical information that it says here recent medical on your file supports your knee has progressively improved and after a modified gradual return to work plan you've resumed all regular duties this medical includes june 6th information june 12th information june 19th information june 29th information July 17th information and August the 1st information. What is never included on this letter? His May the 10th, 2023. 
2023 actual reoccurrence and six weeks of completely being off work before he returned to his, um, you know, slow and safe return to work after the reoccurrence of May the 10th. None of that is included by this caseworker. Honest to God, if I was producing that type of work, I'd fire myself.